Other news now, new details on the controversial arrest video involving a Fort Worth police officer. It has sparked outrage and two protests today. The protesters are making demands about steps they expect the police department to take right now. News 8's Tanya Iser has today's developments. Our community is hurting. Our community is suffering. There's continued outrage over the viral video showing a Fort Worth police officer arresting a mother and her two daughters last week. And our community is being denied the type of justice that those on the other side of town receive as a matter of routine. Jacqueline Craig called 911 last Wednesday to report that her neighbor had choked her seven-year-old son. Well, you get your son up a A group calling itself the local organizing committee held a news conference Monday. They're upset with statements from Mayor Betsy Price and Police Chief Joel Fitzgerald. He's been on the job just over a year. What I can say is that I, I noticed in the video that the officer was rude. They're taking issue with the chief calling the officer's actions rude but not racist. But this is his test. Mm -hmm. This is his trial. Right to prove that he is really representing the entire community. We do not want to see the officer resign. The community would definitely be outraged mm -hmm. if they allow the officer to resign. No justice, no peace. Meanwhile, several protesters gathered outside the Fort Worth Police Department downtown. Help me, don't arrest me. He was racist. He was disrespectful. He was in violations of that woman's human right not just our civil rights. The groups insist they will not back down. We don't want to see violence. Mm -hmm. We don't want to see destruction. But we want to see and demand to see justice being made. Tanya Iser, Channel 8 News.